What's your favorite Halloween costume that you've had? One year I dressed up as um, Edward Scissorhands. I went all out and I was probably about 14. And it's at that age where like boys are feeling a bit too cool to dress up. Certainly in London, they're wearing tracksuits and like they're just putting on a mask yeah, instead of, of doing the whole thing. Same and thing. I was obviously like, you know, wanting to go all in. I did everything. I went, I went, I went proper in with it. The hair was mad, like, did the whole face, did the cuts, did the belt, I wore belts around me. I looked like an idiot, because no one else dressed up properly. Classic. And I like Halloween. I did Hulk Hogan last year. Oh, no, I've got, I'm, I've got the same physique as Hulk Hogan. I'm exactly the same. <laughs> I did a skinny Hulk Hogan with Hulk. Nike shoes and the wig. My name is Harris Dickinson. The name of the movie is The Iron Claw. I really loved wrestling as a kid. I used to follow it in London when it, whenever it came to London. I feel like I was terrified because of the amount of work I knew I'd have to do, given that I'm like a London boy and he's very much a Texas man. <laughs> David wasn't as like ripped and sort of athletic as the others, but he was tall and he was confident and he had an ease about him. So I just, I just lent into that. I didn't quite realize how, how violent it was and how dangerous it was. Great amount of respect for, for the wrestlers because it's like acrobatics, dancing, theater. You have to be an entertainer and also remember your moves and also like take these crazy bumps and the body takes huge physical toll doing this kind of stuff. You've done many love scenes. Yeah. Or wrestling scenes. What are tougher? Love scenes have got a, a, a different level of absurdity to them as as do fighting scenes because you can't take yourself seriously in either of those scenarios because if you do, you just end up feeling like an idiot. But um, <laughs> at least wrestling is very like pragmatic. But love scenes, they you have to yeah, there's just delicacy and it's complicated sometimes, <laughs> just like life. I was quite chubby as a kid, so you I think were? I had like a little like chubby charm, you know, like pottering about. I, I thank, thank the Lord, I grew, yeah. The very first audition, it was uh -huh. for a commercial in London. And then the first film I almost got, I, I, almost, I auditioned for an Ang Lee film in oh, really? New York. Billy Lynn's long, long half-time half walk. walk. It was the most, like, terrifying thing because it was, I was, like, on two, two hours sleep and I'd just flown over and, yeah, auditions aren't a, a, a comfortable experience. Do you have a karaoke song? I did David Bowie at the Saddle Ranch Wow! recently. There was an event there, it was like after the Oscars. I wish I was better at karaoke. What? I wish I was like, I wish I didn't care as much. Do you know, oh. I wish I was more just like blase with it. People that can just just get up there and, and give it a go, I'm, I, I, I care too much. I've done musicals at school and I, I look back and I think, why on earth did I, <laughs> did I do that? My first kiss was, was by a stagnant river. Um, which isn't very romantic, but <laughs> it was one of those spots where you'd go and kiss girls and ask girls to be your girlfriend and that sort of thing. It was a very sacred little muddy bank. After school, you know, stroll down and look at each other for 10 minutes without saying anything and then <laughs> kiss really badly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We were together for maybe four months. Do you have a secret skill besides your Halloween costumes? I've, I've got a good one. Okay, I'll just make the sound. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like it could even be a dolphin or a bird, whatever you How like. How did you learn? It used to annoy my teachers a lot. Have you incorporated this into any roles? No, but I should.